Hey, aloha guys. Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. The Super Bowl just finished, right? So I know you guys are busy. I was busy. I was busy helping a lot of people and doing a lot of things. But um, I wasn't able to go out and get a bunch of fish um, or footage anyway for this week. However, I had some older footage. I went with uh, Kai from Kai's Handcrafted Spears. You can see him on Instagram, Kai's Spear Shop. Um, I went with him and we shot a bunch of coles for my daughter's birthday. So that was really cool. Mahalo Kai. And um, I actually got to shoot a Hawaiian hogfish, Animal Wano. Hawaii's two really underrated fish. It's a soft, white, flaky fish. Unfortunately, I didn't, I wasn't able to catch it on camera because my GoPro died. And if you guys do a lot of filming or diving, you know how it is. It always dies when you get the good stuff. So. I caught those two fish and um, it's a soft, white, flaky fish, highly underrated, but I'll show you one of the best ways to make it. It's like my grandma used to make it like that and it has a really, this is like a special place in my heart. So uh, you can cook any white flaky fish like this. Um, so give it a shot. It's a Japanese style braised fish. Here we go. All right guys, so what we're gonna make with these two beautiful Hawaii fish we got a Moana here, we got our hogfish here, our table boss, super good eating. Give it a try. We're gonna make it Japanese style because it's Japanese style right here at the water hour night, uh, tonight. So, super simple, we're gonna make Sakuna no Nitsuke, which is basically a Japanese style simmered fish. All we add is equal parts, show you. Mire, dash of sugar, and a little bit of your favorite sake. Right inside, we're gonna Bring this up to a lip boil, simmer it, put it down to simmer, put the fish in, cover it, flip it halfway, and we're all set. All right guys, so we got our sauce. It's got a nice little boil to it. We reduced it down to low. We're gonna add our fresh aromatic ginger, our fresh cut garlic, boom. All right, give that a little stir, put it on simmer, Put these babies in. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Whew. And I'm gonna cover it and see in about 15 minutes. Flip it halfway. Alright guys, check that out. This has only been about five minutes. It's perfect. It smells so good. Alright, we're gonna try to flip these over. Double spatula action. Here we go. Just so we don't break it because it's so soft. Oh that looks perfect. All right, let's go another couple minutes on this side and I think we'll be good to go. Ooh. Oh. All right guys, doesn't that look amazing? Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. All right, all we're gonna do is top it off with a little fresh green onion from the yard just to top it off and bam. Here we go guys, lick your screen. Here's our Sakana no Nitsuke. It's a Japanese braised fish, super easy. You know what the best part of the fish is right here, the little cheek. Look at that, boom. Dip that in. <laughs> like butter, so good. Simple, easy, and delicious. All right guys, lick your screen. Aloha. Since it's Japanese night at the Warraha house, we're gonna just, I don't know if you guys eat natto. It's either you hate it or you love it. But we're gonna make some natto. So fresh cooked rice, really important. Make sure it's really hot. Put about that much. Oops. Mm, okay. Here's the secret with this. We microwave it really quick, heat it up, and you have to do this. I don't know why, but everybody does it and it makes it sticky and delicious. Look at that. All right. Put that on top, bam. Oh, look at that, coat that, okay? And this is the secret, or this is the key, is having a fresh raw egg yolk. So here in America is not so safe, but I feel safe eating this one because actually I got this from my friend's house. He raises chicken, this is a fresh egg, so I'm, I'm sure it's safe. So here we go, put the egg yolk on top. Oh, guys, look at that. Oh my god. You guys ready for it? Here we go. 
<laughs> dun dun dun! And you mix it up. Look at that. Oh, ooey, gooey, and delicious. Look at the color on that, guys. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. Uh, here we go. Mean. And all we do is add a little, I'll show you. You can add a little bit, um, note if you want, but I I'm gonna eat it like this. Alright, guys. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> So good. So, try this out. You're gonna like it. <laughs> so good. So, we got our silken tofu. Almost forgot about in our fridge. Here we go. To top this one off, we use unagi sauce, a real thick one. This is the one they use for sushis. It's actually a really good presentation and super delicious. Salty, sweet, sticky, perfect. And to top this off, we're gonna use our truffle ponzu sauce, just like this, just to coat it right over the top. And it is, oh yeah. Oh, money. I also got, what, Nomi, what did you make? Konyaku. Konyaku, good job. All right, guys, let's try this out. Corner piece. Oh, fumble. All right, get one little bit of everything. Here we go. You want to do it with no work and get all the credit, do this. Super simple, but delicious. Alright guys, you guys can thank me later. Mm. Alright, who wants an eyeball? Me. Mm. Alright, hold on you guys, okay. You want the table boss or the Moana? Table boss. Table boss. Really? Oh, what you got? Okay, one each I guess. Did I get it? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I left some behind. Here's the rest of it. You like that, Nomi? Oh yeah. That's the kind, huh? You know you from Hawaii when you pound that. This one came out good. There you go. Better, huh? Yeah. There you go. Oh, look at how much that one has, Nomi. Did we get all the fat? No, all the fat and everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good? <laughs> awesome. It's your favorite. Hey, thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. We truly do appreciate you guys watching and liking our stuff. And you know what? Uh, if you watched all the way to the end, I know you are a true subscriber, true part of the On Fire Fishing family. And if you're not a subscriber yet, Feel free to join the On Fire Fishing family. All you have to do is hit that like and subscribe button. And for all you guys that are part of the On Fire Fishing family, make sure you guys hit the notification button with the little bell icon because that will make sure you guys get all the latest things because I try to put one out every week, but you know, I'm busy with these guys. So you know how it is. We're going to try to get it out there. But again, thank you so much again from us and our family to yours and your family. Um, all right, guys. Make sure you guys spend time with your family, spend time with your friends. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of others, guys. Aloha. Catch you on the next one. Shaka. <laughs>